Hello everyone, this is Apple iOS Genius with a YouTube channel. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and go to and how to do your, uh, if you have the latest version of Java, which is 7.5.1. Uh, a colleague of mine has uh, passed on over this information that uh, he was able to get IEP running uh, successfully through a uh, adding it through the security uh, website, on the secure site of HTTPS. Uh, even though it's not, but it works. So we're going to go ahead and continue here. And this is for basically for a bunch of the schools out there trying to get access to it or making it work. So actually, you know what? I'm going to quit this. I'm going to verify the, the Java that I have. I'm running Mavericks. And uh, you want to go ahead and go to, what's it, uh, I'm sorry, update. So as you can see, currently I'm running 745. And there is a new update of 751. So I'm just going to go ahead and update to that one. Uh, I am an IT system administrator for a school, for a Chicago school, and um, this basically, uh, I don't use Java for accessing Impact or IEP, but uh, there are teachers that do need this, and um, I have this running on, I'm going to have it running on my computer just to walk you through the process and making sure that you're able to get in, and these are the fundamentals of trying how to get into it. Uh, there is no rhyme or reason why Java would not allow you to um, or will prevent you in getting into impact or IEP uh, and uh, you know it just works sometimes and it doesn't work the best advisable is to go ahead and use Firefox as Firefox is a 64-bit application as much as Safari is but so far I have not was not able to get Safari to run impact so uh, feel free to continue to use Firefox until otherwise uh, people are able to make it work successfully through Safari. Um, currently, Google Chrome is not supported. That is a 32-bit application. So as uh, this is already done, let's go ahead and reopen this. All right, so it says now you have the latest version of Java 7.5.1. Please restart all your applications that are using Java. So... We're going to go ahead and um, so wait, actually let's make sure what security we're on. Uh, by default, it's minimal. So you want to close this. Right now, I'm currently uploading on Google Chrome, so I'm going to actually leave that application open. But that's a 32 bit, that's nothing related to what I'm going to do right now. So we're going to go ahead and open Firefox. Okay, once we open Firefox, we're going to go ahead and connect, continue to connect at cps.edu. You should get a prompt in a moment with Java. This should technically fail um, because there are additional settings in your Java uh, control panel that you would actually need to go ahead and change. Okay, as you can see, the loading bar is moving really fast, but then now it's moving very slightly slow. Uh, it's going to go ahead and fail. Um, there should be another window right after this run button that I just selected that should appear and say, of a sense, uh, would you like to allow uh, Java to run? And it does not appear. On the top left corner, I have a lock. Previously on version 745 and on my other video that you're welcome to check out if you're not ready to move to 751 yet, there was like a little Lego piece. And you can click on it and uh, it will actually open up um, a site, or no correction, a, uh, a window, and then you can go ahead and allow Java to run successfully, uh, but it doesn't run either. So here we go, we got the wonderful error message, Java is unavailable, and I just want to restate earlier in the video, I did say uh, connect.cps.edu is not a secure site, and actually it is, before someone places in my comments that comments, that it is a secure site. So here we go. We're at the uh, failed window. It does not work. So you want to go ahead and uh, close this window. You want to go open to your system preferences. Open that up. Java. Once Java has gone ahead and open up, you want to go to update. Uh, you want to go ahead and uncheck this just for future uh, updates and so forth. Uh, so that the updates check for automatically. Hit apply. And you're going to have to put in your password again for another window here. 
which you're going to go to the security. You're going to drop this down to medium. Hit apply, and then there's your wonderful password again. And then on top of that, you want to edit a site list. Yes, you want to go ahead and edit, and, and you want to add. This is thanks to uh, Alan, who is in one of the uh, charter schools, uh, for, who's also a system admin. He was able to figure this out and make this work. So what you want to do is type in HTTPS colon slash slash connect dot cps dot edu oops edu and you want to add that and instead of hitting add what you actually technically need to do is just press enter and then it'll actually save that site if you did add again it will just actually erase that line and do it all over again so uh, we're going to go hit ok uh, you're not going to do anything with the managed certificates or resource security prompts you can select on advance there's nothing here you're going to change going back to java this is the runtime applications of the versions that you currently have installed. So let's view it. So here we're running version 7.5.1 under Java, and it's an internet plugin. So that's just a re-verification. Uh, this is the update. And under your general here, there's nothing here you can actually fiddle with as well. So you're going to leave everything as it is. Hit apply. You may prompt it with your password again. This is a password for your administrator to actually enter and recorrect on your computer. Uh, in case you do not have administrative rights. So go ahead and open up Firefox again. Once you open up Firefox, the best site to go to, because normally people say, hey, let me go to java.com, and then they go, do I have Java, and then verify Java. So that is true, the case normally you would need to do, uh, though I've been finding out through a uh, one of the deans uh, he's actually directing me to go to wordle.net and this actually does the same thing as Java because there's a plugin sometimes that is not active so you pick any one of these pictures or any other pictures in the future if it changes or so forth so I'm just I, I hit more you don't technically have to hit more so we're just gonna pick one and we're gonna try to get this up there you go that's what I wanted to get and then you hit run. As long as you have this animation moving, it looks like it's going to work. So what you want to do directly right after this, you want to go ahead and go to connect.cps.edu. Now it should give you two prompts. Should, or one at least. So here we're going to hit run. And you want to do this here. This is the window that we want. This window here. You want to go ahead and go ahead and select allow. Once you hit that, the bar should jump, as you can just see right now. And now you got into your impact, IEP, or anything else you need to get into. So uh, that's basically how to get into your ITS remote access for CPS. Uh, if you have any uh, issues or questions, uh, feel free to put them to the comments below. Feel free to subscribe as I will have future videos as well for the schools or anything else related to Apple and iOS devices, as well as uh, soon to be putting Android devices as well. But thanks for watching it iOS Genius with the Apple at iOSgenius.com and YouTube. Thank you. Have a good day.